So you are getting exit code one in Minecraft. Well, the goal of this video is to give you all the different options as to what could fix this issue. Unfortunately, this isn't a one size fits all issue, meaning that I can't say this exact thing is going to fix it for you, but we're gonna go through everything that I know can fix it, and hopefully one of them will work for you as well. Now, first things first, I do wanna mention that there is a kind of text format, and specifically on the second part of this video, the graphics driver issues causing exit code one, this text guide is going to be super helpful because uh, I don't even have an AMD GPU or an AMD CPU to test this and even try to help with it. And generally AMD CPUs have this issue a lot. So something worth noting there. And that's why this text guide does exist. But nevertheless, first things first, we got to check the mods because a lot of times that's what's causing the exit code one issue or exit code zero if you're getting that as well. And I just want to go into the Minecraft launcher here, go into installations, find forge and click the folder icon that is over here. And this is going to open up our Minecraft folder. And here we've got a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder at all, then uh, this isn't what the issue is for you. You can go ahead and skip to the next part. But if you do go ahead and open that up and we can see a few things are broken here. One, uh, we're installing Forge mods. This is a fabric mod, Bombs of Plenty. So this isn't going to work. Also, we're installing Bombs of Plenty, and I know that that requires another mod. It requires Terra Blender. Terra Blender is a mod that basically Bombs of Plenty needs to run, and it's missing. So we need both of those. Also, just enough items here is the wrong version. 1.19.2, we're playing 1.20.4 now, and this is actually what happens a lot. You'll update Minecraft with, uh, you know, a new version, and you'll add Forge in for that version and you won't remove your old mods from a previous version, 1.19.2 in this case, that mod can cause issues like exit code one to occur very, very often. Luckily, I was kind of prepared here and uh, I got all the fixes for this right here. We now have Bombs of Plenty Forge. We now have just enough items, 1.20.4. And we've got Terra Blender, which Bombs of Plenty is needing, right? So I know now this will work. We can go ahead and play Minecraft. That's the issue fixed. And hopefully the issue is fixed for you. But if not, we need to take a look at those graphics settings and uh, the graphics driver issues. But before we do that, hello, Mr. from Arc company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz slash sgh to start your minecraft server the simple way you can easily add mods plugins and mod packs to your server and customize the server any way that you like on top of that if you have any issues with your server at any point there's expert live chat support there to help you out so go check out simple game hosting get the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz slash sgh and get your server up and running in less than five minutes Nevertheless, we can now take a look at these. Now, for NVIDIA systems, I'm going to be able to help a little bit more here than I can with AMD. But I actually want to start with AMD because AMD CPUs that have integrated GPUs, meaning you don't have a dedicated GPU, you have it all in one, right? It's I think they're called APUs. And uh, basically, it's a GPU and a CPU all on one chip. And it's a great way to get a budget gaming computer because you're not having to buy a dedicated graphics card and a dedicated CPU. It's all in one. Unfortunately, that can sometimes cause issues with Minecraft Forge and Minecraft Mods requiring you to update and get graphics drivers here. And even if you think your graphics drivers are up to date, I promise this is still worth doing. I time and time again have helped people resolve this issue with AMD CPUs and everything looks like the graphics drivers are up to date, but for some reason they're not, or they say they are and they still can do this and it works. I, I don't really have the answers, but I've seen it so many times. So what you want to do is go to this link in the description down below. It's going to take you to right here, scroll down. And what you want to do is click on the AMD drivers and support page. And that will take you here select the basically either this chip chipset, the processor or the GPU that you have from AMD and then click submit. Oh, I need to select a product real fast. And then from there, you will be able to select the subunits and all of that stuff. And then it will give you what you need to download Windows 10, Windows 11 in this case, download that, install it, and you'll be good to go most of the time. It's super important that if you have, for example, a CPU, like you have a Ryzen, we'll say you have a Ryzen 5, that you go that route. And if you've got both AMD CPU and GPU, do this for both of them. But if you do have that all-in-one sort of setup that I think it's called an APU, but excuse me, me if I is not correct. If you have that sort of a setup, going and downloading these drivers is a must. And again, time and time again, this fixes this exit code one issue, if nothing else will. So I really wanted to share it for with you and I hope it can help with you as well. And I'm sorry that I can't provide more insight on the AMD side of things because I just do not have AMD hardware. On the NVIDIA side of things though, I can provide a little more help because we have the GeForce experience. You can download that from clicking this link from the link in the description. It will take you here where you can download the GeForce experience. I've already got it downloaded 
downloaded, so let me open that. So here is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. What you wanna do in here is click on drivers, and then as you can see, I have a driver update here. I could go ahead and click download. When you do that, it's gonna go ahead, download the update. You may have to click to confirm a few things, but overall, just click download and you're good to go there. And um, the reason I'm not gonna do that is if I do that, it will stop recording. But hopefully, after you've done all that, you've got your graphics driver set up, you've got your mod set up correctly, you'll be able to come in here and just click on play and things will work and Minecraft will open up with your mods installed uh, like it's going to open up here with our mods installed. So if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I would encourage you, if you find a solution that's not in this video, please share it in the comments down below. We will look there and add those and update our website if anything points out to be a common theme of something that is fixing this issue. On top of that, it's just going to help everybody. Like I said, it's not a one-size-fits-all issue. I wish I could say this is going to fix it. And that AMD issue is something that I've seen time and time again be the thing that fixes it if the mods themselves and fixing all that doesn't fix exit code one. I'll be honest, I, I I've wanted to do a video on this for years, but we haven't because I wanted to make sure we had as much information as possible. Uh, we've been watching things in our Discord and stuff like that to see what could fix this issue. And that AMD fix is what made me and convinced me to make this video because I think it's a fix that will help a lot of people on top of the just general mods usually fixing it. I would say about 50 to 60% of the time, getting those mods sorted fixes the issue. And then the remaining, you know, like let's say 30% of the time that AMD fix fixes it or the NVIDIA opening the graphics drivers there. And then if that doesn't fix it, well, unfortunately we don't have that solution for those 10% of viewers who can't fix this issue and if you find the solutions let us know in the comments because we want to hear them but nevertheless thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and we can't wait to see you in the next one enjoy your minecraft mods